Doctor Who, and I understand you're here for an eye exam. Is that correct? Okay, wonderful. Um, before we get started, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I'm going to make notes uh, about the answers that you give me, okay? Uh, first of all, when was the last time you had an eye exam? here just for a regular checkup, or are there any particular issues that you would like me to investigate? Uh-huh. That's quite interesting. Okay. All right. And you can't see yourself going to work next week? Oh, okay. That's an interesting problem. Okay. Do you wear glasses or contacts? Okay. And how long? any other medical issues that I should know about? I'm just going to pull up your record here on my computer. Okay. Now the address and phone number that I have, has that changed since the last time that you were here? No? All right. Oh, sorry. You have a new phone number. Okay. Go ahead and give that to me, and I'll put that into the system, okay? All right. Excellent. Okay. Now, before we get started, did you have any questions for me at all? won't be a problem at all. We can definitely accommodate you with that. I'm going to get started just by looking into your eyes and checking to see how your pupils are responding to some light, okay? All right. So what I would like you to do is just look directly at me, sort of right at the top of my nose right there, okay? Okay. I'm just going to look into this eye.
I'll just make a few notes. I'm going to do some light tests on you just to check to see how your eyes are reacting to certain colors. And, okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dim the lights in my office for just a bit so that I can do this properly with you, all right? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to use this light and I'm going to pass this by your eyes and I want you to tell me each time what color you think you're seeing, okay? What color do you think that is? Okay. What color do you see now? Okay. What color do you see now? Okay. What color do you see now? And what color is that? do you see now? Okay. What color are you seeing now? Okay. Now I'm going to try slightly different test. The, the light is going to come close to you and then far away from you, okay? And I'm going to ask you to tell me what color you're seeing at two different points, okay? Okay. What color do you see here? And what color do you see now? All right. What color do you see here? What color do you see now? Okay. What color do you see here? And what color do you see now? Okay. What color? And what color here? What color do you see here? And what color do you see now? Okay. Last one. What color do you see here? And what color do you see now? Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to turn the office lights back on now, okay? Okay. I'm just going to have another look into your eyes to see how your pupils are responding after the light test, okay? Okay, again, you can just look sort of right here at my nose. All right. It's hard to miss. Okay, let me just take a look here on this side.
I'm just going to make a few more notes. The next test I'd like to do is a depth perception test, and it's done with a device that we call the depth perception tunnel. At the end of that is a light, and what I want you to do is to focus on the light as it moves in and out, and it's going to record the way your eyes are reacting, okay? So what I would like you to do is, you see that little device in front of you, you can put your chin on that little pad, just like that, perfect, and I want you to put your eyes up to the eyepiece that's right there, and just rest your forehead right against there, perfect, that's very good, all right. So I'm going to attach this to the eyepiece. Okay, and I just want you to focus on the light that's at the end of this tunnel, what we call the depth perception tunnel, and just stay focused on the light. It's going to move around in different locations. is recording how your eyes are focusing on the light, okay? Okay, very good. Just a little bit longer. Excellent. sound maybe that is the device recording your reactions the way your eyes are reacting to the moving light okay excellent almost done here takes a while for your eyes to refocus, doesn't it? Yeah. You can close your eyes for just a minute while I make a few notes, all right? Just to sort of relax your eyes.
Okay. All right. You can go ahead and open your eyes. And I'm just going to check your pupil skin just to see how they're responding now after the depth perception test. Okay. Excellent. And I'm going to do this side as well. Okay. Now, can you also just look up? Look up, right? Okay. And look down. Okay. And again, with this eye, if you could look up. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to do another type of light test with more colored light. This one is slightly different with a different device. So once again, I'm going to dim the lights in the office so that you can see the colored light on this device a little more clearly. Okay. All right. And there we go. Okay. So this is the device. So again, I want you to focus on the colored light and I'm going to be changing the colors with my phone and I want you to tell me what color you are seeing. Okay? What color are you seeing? here, here, here. And what color do you see here? And here, here. Okay. What color? Here. And what color here? And here. What color here? And here? And what color right here? Okay. What color do you see right here? And here? And here? And what color do you see right here? And here? And here? color here, here, and here. Okay. What color do you see now? Here. What color here? What color right here? And what color do you see now? And here, and here. And here. Okay. What color do you see now? And here. Here. And right here. All right. One last one. What color do you see now? Here. And here. one actually. What color do you see here? Here, here, and here. 
Okay. All right, we're finished that test, so I'm just going to turn the lights back on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next test I do is also going to be a light test. And I'm going to do this just to see what the reaction is of your pupils to different forms of light as well. And I'm going to use these light sticks to do that, okay? So what I want you to do once again is just look straight ahead, sort of at the top of my nose. Perfect. And I'm just going to pass this down. See how your eyes are reacting. side. Okay. All right. Okay, and now I'm going to try a different color. Okay, so again, just look straight ahead toward my nose. Perfect. And I'm just going to take a look in this eye. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, and now this is quite dim. Okay, and now I'm going to use a different color. So I just want you to relax and to look straight ahead at my nose. Now I'm going to use two different color sticks to do the same test. Okay, and again, you can look right here toward my nose. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to check on this eye first. See how it responds. And see how this eye is responding. Okay. See over here again. Again, I'm going to do the test with two different light sticks on your eye. Okay, and again, once again, just look straight ahead at the top of my nose. Okay. All right. Check this eye on this side. And this eye over here. And I'm just looking to see how it's responding. Okay, excellent. I'm just going to make a few notes about that, but I'm going to enter them right into my computer. Now I'm just going to do another look into your pupils, again, just to see how they react after being exposed to different stimulus, okay? straight ahead, sort of right up here. Okay. Okay. 
just doing circular motions because I can often change the way the pupils are dilating. Okay. Okay. Good. Now what I would like to do is to give you just a basic eye chart test and see how you do, okay? Okay. I'm just going to hold that right up here and I'll use this pointer to point to each line and you tell me what you see, okay? Okay, let's start in 4.0, the first line. Okay. And 4.1 right here. Okay. And 4.2 right here. Okay. And 4.3. Okay. 4.4. Okay, let's try 5.1. Just do the best that you can. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And let's just try 5.2 and just do the best you can. If you can see any of them. very difficult so okay okay that was very interesting so let me just make a few notes about that in my computer system so you made it down to 4.9 okay but then after that you had a difficult time reading all of the other lines so test I'm going to do is going to be with a whole bunch of different types of lenses and I'm going to put them into the device that's right in front of you so if you wouldn't mind just resting your chin on the chin rest of that device right there that's right and then there are two pads right there on your forehead and you can just rest your forehead there and let me just here I'll just adjust that a little this just down a little bit is that a little bit better over here okay and let me see let me adjust this over here down a little further as well okay all right how is that feeling is that a little bit better okay let me adjust this over here as well and i want to get the ip Okay. 
Okay, how is that? Is that comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, now I'm going to put some different lenses in your vision device, and I want you to tell me what you can see on the different lines that I call out to you, okay? All right, let's start with this lens. Okay, so tell me what you see on the first line. Okay, and how about the second line? And the third line. Okay. And now let's try this lens. Okay, and tell me what you see on the third line. And the first line. And the second line. Okay. And now another lens. Okay, tell me what you see on the third line and the second line. And how about the first line? Okay. Okay, and I'm going to try this lens now. So tell me what you see on the third line. And, okay, the first line. And now the second line. Okay. Okay, one last lens. Now tell me what you see on the third line. Okay, and the first line. And how about the second line? Okay. All right, we're done that test. I'm going to do another test with a different type of lens. So I'm going to attach this lens to your vision device. So this is going to make your vision just a little bit darker. This is through a solar type lens. And I just want to see how your eyes are going to react through this particular lens, okay? All right, let's begin. So tell me what you see on the first line. Okay, and now on the second line, and the bottom one. Okay, all right, I'm just going to adjust the lens. All right, and now once again, tell me what you see on the second line. Okay, and the third line and the top line. Okay. A little more. Okay. So tell me what you see on the top line, the third line, the second line. Okay. Now tell me what you see on this line right here. And how about this one right below? Okay. Excellent. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. Okay, so tell me what you see on this line right here. And this line right here. And this one here on the bottom. Okay. you see on this line. Okay, and this one right here. Okay. Okay, let's do one more adjustment. It's going to be quite dark. So tell me what you see, if anything, on this line right here. Okay, and how about this line? What about this line right here? And what about this one? Okay. Okay, 
let's go all the way back to the beginning. And now I want you to tell me what you see on this line. And what about this line? Okay. How about this one? This line? Okay, and how about this line? Okay, what about this one here? Okay. Okay. All right, that's the end of that test. So let me just take this lens off of here. Now I would like to do a very simple follow test, okay? Just to see how your eyes respond to a moving object. So what I'm gonna do is move my finger around in different places, and I want you to follow my finger, okay? And I'll be looking into your eyes with this light while you do that, okay? Excellent, okay. So we'll start over here, over here, and here. That's right, keep following. Over here, there, there, there. Okay, over there, up there. Okay. All right, you're doing good. Now I would like to do the follow test with the light stick, okay? So again, just follow this around. I'm going to move it in different places. And just follow that wherever it goes. Back. Just keep following over there. That's right. Keep following, especially the tip of that stick, if you can see it. It is a bit of a challenge, but just keep following. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so that concludes our tests, and I'll just address a few of the issues that you raised at the beginning of the exam. And um, the first one was seeing dead people. I believe that what you're actually seeing are some of the floaters that I found in your eyes when I was examining them. And perhaps some of them look like people, either people you know or don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that that is what you're actually seeing. Now, as far as the voices you said that you're hearing, that I can't really help you with. I recommend that you see an ear doctor for that, and I can give you a good recommendation if you like, okay? And regarding not being able to see yourself going into work next week, 
I believe your vision is actually not quite as bad as you thought it was, so I think you'll actually be able to see yourself going into work. However, as I've just put you through a battery of different vision tests that were quite taxing, I'll be happy to provide you with a doctor's note to give you a week off from work in order to recover from the tests. Is that all right? Okay. I'm happy to do that. I'll just write that up right now. Okay, and this is for eye strain. Emotional exhaustion. Okay. Okay, there you go. We'll get that to you. Okay, there you are. You're welcome. Did you have any other questions or anything else that you would like me to look at before you go? Oh, okay. Oh, the dry eye that you were having? Right. All right. What I could do is give you a prescription for some wonderful eye drops, and that will help uh, alleviate that. Okay? Sure. No problem. So you should take that two drops in each eye twice a day as needed. Okay. Okay. There you are. Okay. There you go. You're welcome. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in. It was really nice to see you. And again, if you have any issues that come up in the future, feel free to give my office a call and set up a follow-up appointment. Okay? All right, wonderful. Well, you have a wonderful day. All right, take care. Bye-bye.